Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Started From The Bottom. Cup fever has hit Bath as we take on Manchester City in the FA Cup 5th round. Let's jump into today's episode. So guys, as I mentioned in the intro, we are taking on Manchester City in today's FA Cup tie. I'm also going to show you a Premier League game against Arsenal as well. We're taking on Man City, who are currently top of the Premier League in the FA Cup. Uh, Luis Enrique is their manager. Um, we've got an okay-ish record against Man City. We've lost uh, lost twice and won once. No draws so far. Oh, I've abs accidentally submitted the team, so I don't even know who's playing this game. Um, so for us, I guess, we have Noel Beatty, Rivas, Emmanuel, Amakanji, Anwar, Bilbao, Muzo, O'Neill, Fury, Azevedo, Vega. Very standard. Um, and then for Man City, they have James Talbot in goal. He looks okay. He's got a very poor average rating in the Carabao Cup, and he is not Edison. Um, they also have Eric Garcia, who I think is a really good little player. Uh, Upamecano, uh, Luis, Declan Rice. This Aaron Ramsey, which I think comes from Villa, he does. Um, Bernardo Silva is one to watch out for. Morgan Rogers, again, another player to watch out for. It's an interesting team for Man City. I definitely think this version of Man City is beatable. Obviously, you can see on their bench, they've got uh, Edison, Joe Gomez, Mariba, Haaland, and Didi, Laporte, Raheem Sterling. Um, so, you know, um, I think starting 11 for starting 11, this time, I think we have the better team. Obviously, we are away at the Etihad. Um, Upamecano gets a booking right off the rip as we get the first highlight of the game. Bilbao into the penalty area. Uh, Luis gets the header clear there ahead of Valentin Vega. Azevedo with the ball. Muzo out to Anwar on the left-hand side. Anwar crosses the ball. Bilbao. Come on, boys. We are doing so well at the moment. We are on absolute flames. Matias Bilbao gets this first goal. Azevedo with the ball on the left-hand side. Back to Muzo. Out to Anwar, which really does help having Anwar at left-back. Um, and Matthias Bilbao is there. Fires past Talbot in goal. Would Edison have saved that? Maybe. Bernardo Silva with the free kick for Man City then. Declan Rice. And we get the ball clear. Man City with 70% of the ball. Hence why I flicked back to the cautious mentality. Now we've got this first goal. And Akanji with the throw into Rivas. Uh, we lose out there. But Christian Muzzo does get back to recover. Back to Bailey who is uh, over his flu. And back into the starting eleven. Anwar out to O'Neill on this left-hand side. Muzo. Christian Muzo looks to go out to Bilbao on the right-hand side, but we gets caught out. Ball into Morgan Rogers. I don't know if Bailey got something on that, but the ball definitely hit the post, and we have a let off there. Man City having their second clear-cut chance of the game. Uh, we have not had one, but we have scored. So there we go. Bernardo Silva back to Ramsey, and Bailey turns it around the post for another Man City corner. Here come the league leaders, I'm sure. Upamecano into the penalty area. And Azevedo hooks the ball clear. Obviously, we are now on a more cautious mentality, hoping that we can sort of hit Man City on the counter-attack, potentially. Um, in the Premier League, you can see Wolves are taking a, taking a lead against Everton. Everton, who have just won the Carabao Cup. Um, but this is FA Cup action, and Bernardo Silva, and another set piece here, into Florentino Luis, back to Upamecano, as we apply the pressure here, the Frenchman goes across to Garcia, who opts to go all the way back to the goalkeeper here, Talbot with the ball, Upamecano, out to this left-hand side, Declan Rice, into Ramsey, we're still applying good pressure, but making Man City play with it here, Florentino Luis, out to the right back who takes a touch past Anwar. We hold the defensive front and that is an unbelievable stop from Amakanji there to deny Morgan Rogers the clear-cut chance and we've got another block in. Emmanuel clears the corner this time into the Man City man. Back to Ramsey, back to Upa Meccano and the highlight is over. Looks like we can maybe squeak in at halftime with the lead here. And it is to be. Obviously, we've only had one shot on target. It is Matthias Bilbao, but it has given us the lead in this FA Cup tie. 
if we could knock out Man City, that would be superb. Obviously, we're slightly underwhelming in terms of possession, 38% to 62 um, we are committing a lot more fouls. We've got a couple of yellow cards as well. So another situation that I may have to monitor. But Man City here. Bernardo Silva gets booked. I'm waiting to see what changes they make. They've taken off of Meccano and brought on Mariba. Put Declan Rice back at centre-back. Morgan Rogers has got an injury. On comes Haaland. On comes Raheem Sterling. 20 minutes of the game to go. I'm going to change my tactics. I don't know. I do have. I do have Wink on this time. So Wink comes in to play as a CDM we're going to drop Fury in here. We're going to bring on uh, Fusto to play central midfield. Wink is going to be a ball-winning midfielder on defend. We're going to have this, the 4-1-4-1, four, uh, four, four, hopefully trying to see this out. We're going to confirm the changes. Um, I'm also going to set the mindset to defensive. And hopefully we can see this game out. Obviously now they brought on their big hitters like Haaland, Sterling and Moriba. It is a bit more intense for us, but nothing coming for it for Man City. Come on, boys. And we advance into the next round of the FA Cup. People had written us off. I've said that a lot this season in a lot of games. We have knocked out Man City. Uh, Leicester also through. Liverpool also through. Tottenham beat Arsenal in the North London derby. West Brom uh, eliminate Newcastle. And West Ham go through on penalties against Burnley. So we advance in the FA Cup fifth round. We receive 429k. England boss is watching over Joe Gomez, Declan Rice, and Phil O'Neill for his England squad. Phil O'Neill has not been capped for England, so I'm, I, I wish him all the best. I hope he does get a cap. Um, obviously, the FA Cup quarterfinal is the next round. Um, I don't know why my calendar keeps doing that, and that is going to be the game after Atletico's second leg. Okay, guys, so we will advance. Charlie Wellens has gone on record. Charlie Wellens can go now. He's been superb for us. We will advance through towards this Arsenal game. Looking forward to the uh, FA Cup quarterfinal uh, draw. Some of my boys are doing superbly. As I said, Felix Fury, um, who in a technical aspect looks phenomenal. Um, his determination's flying up thanks to the mentoring group that he's in. Midfield orchestrator. That's what you love to see, don't you? Someone supremely technical. Um, and Gabriel Rivas also doing very well as well. Only two and a half star current ability, but he is still young. He's still only 20 years old. Valued at 8.5 million for the Peruvian right back. So before we play Arsenal, guys, we have the quarter final draw of the FA Cup. It is ourselves, the team that we are sharing a stadium with, Bournemouth, Huddersfield, Leicester, Liverpool, Tottenham, West Brom and West Ham. I want anyone apart from Liverpool, but knowing my luck in this competition, we've already played Man City, we've already played Manchester United, so I imagine we are going to get Liverpool. First out of the hat is Huddersfield. Come on. Come on. Championship draw in the quarterfinals. Let's draw the rest. Liverpool get Leicester, which is a tough game for uh, Liverpool. Bournemouth, West Brom, Tottenham, West Ham. Um... So, Huddersfield, how are Huddersfield getting on? Third in the championship, interesting. Um, they are doing pretty well. Good, have a shot at automatic, maybe. Got a few points to catch Watford and Bournemouth. I am very happy with that, and that will make up a nice episode next time out. Um, Champions League and an FA Cup quarterfinal. That looks like a good episode to me, doesn't it? Anyway, let's advance to take on Arsenal in the Premier League. In terms of the game you guys missed last time, it was a 1-0 against La Aston Villa. Valentin Vega again on the score sheet. The man is on a mission. Um, he is, if I flick over to the Premier League, he is the top goal scorer in the Premier League by a long way. Um, six goals in the Premier League is massive. He's already hit that 20 mark. And now, hopefully, he continues that run against Arsenal. Um, team selection... Yeah, assistant says keep it as it is. And that was what I was going to do anyway. As, oh, Leeds play before us. Interesting. Leeds playing the day before us gives us a little bit of a shot to see what we can do. Man City lose to Brighton. Wow. Wow. Okay, it's getting tighter at the top of this Premier League. So Leeds draw 1-1 with Aston Villa, which is another good result for us. Um... West Ham versus Chelsea. If you take a look at the Premier League, if we win our game in hand over Leeds, 
Um, so if we beat Arsenal in our game, we go back into that top four and we're not a million miles away this year um, from potentially upsetting some of the big boys. I don't back us to win the Premier League or anything like that. But um, hopefully if we can secure Champions League football again next season, keep filling up those coffers. Manchester United, what? the board of announced due to better than expected finances and increase the transfer revenue. So we get 100% of player sales. Okay, great. Manchester United win their game in hand. So Manchester United go back into fourth themselves. Um, two goals from Marcus Rashford in there. And we take on Arsenal. Ninth place Arsenal. They do have the edge over the uh, six games that we've played. Three wins for Arsenal. One draw. Uh, two wins for Bath. Mikel Arteta is still the Arsenal manager. This is going to be the team. Bailey, Rivas, Emmanuel, Amakanji, Anwar, Bilbao, Muzo, O'Neill, Fury, Azevedo, Vega. Let's get into the game. So guys, this is the Arsenal team. Some really good players in here and players that you guys will know um, know about. Obviously, they've got Leno in here, uh, Lucas Hernandez. They've got Guendouzi still here, Pepe, Mason Mount, Saka. Um, the one that is catching my eye is this guy, Ben uh, Allingham. Uh, the fullback, 21 years old. He's English. He fits the quota, can play fullback in support, which is what I need. Um, as I said, he is English, so he definitely does fit the quota. That price tag, quite high, though. Um, and I am quite impressed with Rivas so far. Um, so we will go in. We'll hand that over to Ruvan Nistelrooy. And we will get into today's Premier League game. First highlight, though, two minutes in, we have a free kick. Valentin Vega is over it, takes it direct and forces of a very good save from Leno there. Vega trots over to take the resulting corner. Swings it in. Arsenal clear, but not fully. Back into Vega inside the penalty area. And Leno saves and Hernandez is able to stop the ball going behind for a corner. Arsenal look to build their own attack, but the highlight ends there. We are at the Emirates. We need a good performance here to keep the pressure on. Amar swings it in. Oh, that was a big chance for Christian Muzo. Big, big chance for Christian Muzo. I think we've been the better side so far, but here come Arsenal. Hernandez with the throw into Saka. We get a clearance, but only to Gundozi. Back to Martinez. All the way out to this left-hand side. Lovely run from Hernandez. Back into Saka. Oh, God, the ball's bouncing everywhere. It's absolute pinball. But we get it clear through um, the team into Bilbao. And that is the end of that highlight as well, guys. Um... I think we've been the better team here. Obviously, Arsenal dominate in possession, as you kind of would expect. But we've had four shots and two on target. They've not had a shot on target yet. Uh, ben Allingham, the, the player that I'm looking at, has just picked himself up a booking. Oh, lovely set-piece routine. Is Christian Muzzo onside? I'm not sure. It looks like it's been given. Vega with the free kick here. Amakanji with the flick on. And Muzo comes from behind his man. Leno gets beaten. Doesn't come off his line quick enough. The the old German looks like we're going to get a offside check. Well, Amakanji's onside. Looks like he's onside. Okay, so it looks like we will take up that fourth place position, boys. Um, I will flick us back to cautious as I do, especially when we are away from home. I like flicking it back over to cautious, especially in games where we kind of don't win the possession battle. Um, Arsenal doing well in terms of possession, but not really uh, testing Noel Beatty at this present time. 60 minutes on the clock then, and here come Arsenal. Allingham with a throw on the right-hand side. The ball goes back and gets robbed by Azevedo. Looks for Vega down the line. Vega one-on-one -on -one with his defender, goes past him into the penalty area. And that is a unreal save from Leno, who's, who's a very good goalkeeper still um, in this game. Rivas, Muzo, Azevedo. I can feel Vegas times coming into Bilbao. Bilbao into the penalty area. Ugh, tame into Leno's hands there. But it definitely looks like there are some cracks appearing in this Arsenal team. Hernandez picks up a booking, which is Arsenal's fourth booking of the game as well. Muzo gets a booking for us. They go on a 6.4, which is not a testament to how he's been playing of late. Into the final 10 minutes. Anwar gets a booking as well. I've got too many players on bookings here. So I'm going to, can I make a sub Felix Fury for Fusto, Christian Muzo for, uh, yeah, let's bring Wink on to play centre midfield. Why not? Um, five minutes of the game to go. Arsenal have the ball. Guendouzi gets there. We get a block on the cross. Hernandez picks it up though. Back to Martinez. We're putting pressure on. Obviously, we've still got our lethal finisher in Vega up front. 
out to the right back here. Down the line, here's Allingham. Allingham into the penalty area. Bailey flaps it here, and that is an awful goal to concede. That is an awful, awful goal to concede. I don't really know what's happened there. Let's watch this again. Ball out to this right-hand side to their midfielder. Allingham, the, the fullback that I'm looking at, advances into our penalty area, strikes it. Bailey flaps. Fabio Silva hits it towards the goal, hits it into Bailey, and it goes into the penalty area. They're looking at the first one to see if Allingham tries his luck from range. It doesn't look like it is going in there, but this game is back to 1-1. One, one. A little bit of a mistake from Bailey there. Arsenal still coming here. Fabio Silva had a chance to potentially win it for Arsenal. Four minutes of the game to go. We are away from home. I am kind of happy with a point at Arsenal. And the point is all we get. Um, that was good from the boys. I'm happy. Obviously, it's a little bit of a mistake this cost us. As it stands, then we do stay in sixth. Um, we are tied on points with Leeds and one point behind Manchester United. Obviously, Manchester United have a vastly superior uh, goal difference at the moment. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've just got loads of scouting things coming back in. My scouts doing their work, trying to find me the next Wonder Kid. Alas, I'm not actually finding anyone English that fits the quota. So, guys, if we move into the schedule, I will play the game against Man City in the Premier League off camera. And we will be back for the second round tie of our Champions League knockout stage against Atletico Madrid. We are now back at home. We've got a two goal, a two away goal lead against Atletico. So it's going to be an interesting one. And obviously, I will show you the FA Cup quarterfinal game against Huddersfield as well. But if you have enjoyed today's video, guys, don't forget to give it a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you are new and you are up for some football manager content daily. It's been a great episode. Another two decent results, actually. Knocking Man City out of the FA Cup was something I wasn't really expecting. Um, so, as I said, guys, don't forget to do all the good stuff down below. Um, I will be back um, for another episode of Started From The Bottom tomorrow for these massive cup games. But until then, guys, take care and I will see you very soon.